This um, is a new replacement sway bar, Helwig, uh, let's see, the R7008. It's going to be installed on a 2004 uh, Forest River Sunseeker 2600S, but it's on the Ford E50, E450 frame. Um, this, I've unboxed it, um, looked at the instructions. Right there they are and assembled it, pre-assembled it, so I know how it goes on there. Um, again, the instructions looks like that. So I have, have it set up. That U-bolt will go over the axle um, housing, if you will, and then it hooks going upward to the, the sway bar. The sway bar connects with these uh, hangers in the existing spots using the exi existing bolts of the uh, sway bar that I'm going to uninstall. Again, there is what it looks like. And all, all these bolts in the kit are three can't get it focused. Our three-quarter inch bolt, three-quarter inch socket required for that. It's got some grease that you'll grease the boots here that go around the sway bar uh, so that you avoid squeaks and things. So, all right. So that's the assembled new sway bar. Let's go out and take a look at the uh, existing sway bar and get that removed. Now we're outside. Looking at the existing sway bar connections there. Sway bar. The other side, a little tight under here. And that just then slides underneath into the into the frame. Well, it's not easy to do down here. Anyhow, let's get that removed. Remove those two. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Give me that bolt. Bolt on the back side, on both sides. So let's get that done. And yes, it requires a uh, 15 millimeter socket. I found it would fit this. Get under here. Uh. I pre sock these with some WD-40 to make them come out better. Alright. So I've loosened all but this last bolt. And then just swing out.
Okay, here we are. That's the finished product. It goes around the I beam. There's the bar. How it's hung, at least in my there we go. A little tight under here. <laughs> and there again is how it's mounted. 